Jared Pritchard was born on the 2nd of October 1985, and as he was growing up, it became apparent that he had an extremely imaginative mind. Throughout his primary school years at Erina Heights Public School, Jared was able to develop his talents. These were recognised when his design for the Year 6 Jumper was voted the best by his peers. At the age of seven, Jared started ballet classes under the direction of Miss Kim Walton. He was always a really wonderfully dedicated student. It was a pleasure to teach, always. He put his heart and soul into everything he did and strived for excellence. I saw him progress from a little boy to a young man. He was a wonderful person as well as a wonderful dancer. Through perseverance and dedication, Jared became an outstanding ballet dancer, performing in many concerts and entering numerous competitions. As his dancing skills improved, he began to broaden his horizons and became very interested in breakdancing. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now. Jared fell in love with breakdancing and began focusing on it more and more. He excelled rapidly and started performing in shows and entering competitions. On May 21st, 2003, Jared tragically suffered a stroke due to a malformed artery on his brain stem. A normal connection would look something like this, with an artery and vein joined by capillaries. However, in Jared's case, the artery had been malformed, connecting directly to the vein. This is known as an arteriovenous malformation, or an AVM, and this is what caused the intercerebral hemorrhage, or stroke. Doctors spent 18 hours in surgery attempting to rectify Jared's AVM and believe they had it sorted. It took us a while to understand the seriousness of the whole issue. I remember when we sat in the hospital and we had about um, 12 people sitting around us. We were let down brutally and told what the prognosis was. Um, uh, I think I said something about, do you think, well, what about his HSC? And uh, Professor Morgan said very kindly, um, when people have AVMs or similar things to what Jared has, they don't usually finish their HSC in that particular year. Jared initially had partial paralysis on his left side, so um, it's fairly mild really, but 
but at the same time it was significant enough to notice that he wasn't able to um, go back to break dancing, which he used to do, and put all his weight on his left side, or pick up the guitar again and play piano. Those fine motor skills, you know, he just wasn't able to retrieve. The maturity Jared showed while facing life-threatening surgery was startling. But he was able to engage each of the staff. I watched him talk with Professor Morgan, who was to be his surgeon, and to ask appropriate questions and also be able to take on board, you know, the enormity of what was happening. After a few months when he started recovering, he began to get involved in, in videos and did a lot of videos and started laughing again after about three or four months. And, and um, it was like he redirected himself and uh, his whole life and, and, and um, he, I think he saw it as a new beginning. I had the stroke about six months ago. It was pretty hard. My left side was paralyzed when it happened. But I'm recovering. I'm still recovering. I find it really changed me. Like, changed my perspectives. I've always been really musical. I used to play guitar in bands. But picking up the guitar is too frustrating now. My hand speed, it's still really slow. So now I do a lot of digital mixing and sequencing. I've developed a real passion for music. At the moment I'm concentrating on drums. I think drums are great for coordination and rhythm and everyone needs a bit of rhythm. It's good fitness too. But it keeps me reminded that I'm not yet at 100%. family have seriously been great through the whole ordeal, supporting me and encouraging me the whole time. I love my family. I couldn't take it if someone I love had the same experience I had. set now to just create things, you know, like explore art through like different mediums. I've just got to keep pushing on. I seriously reckon I wouldn't have made it through this without my faith.